Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. A couple of shout outs this week. First, as we know, this was Teacher Appreciation Week. We'd also like to recognize this is also Nurse Appreciation Week. So uh, thank you to all the nurses in our community who go above and beyond for our students to keep them healthy, to keep them safe, and for doing so many different things in each of our schools. Uh, also like to recognize this uh, past Friday was School Lunch Hero Day. So I'd like to thank all those who support uh, school lunches for our students each day, keep our students fed, healthy, and nourished. And thank you for going above and beyond for our students. So we invite our entire community to take a minute to thank uh, both of our, our nursing staff and also our uh, school lunch staff. Our last shout out goes out to our RMHS Unified Basketball Team. So this is the uh, inaugural season for the basketball team. They have been on fire this season. Uh, their last home game is on May 18th at 4 p.m. And they invite everyone to come on out and cheer them, uh, cheer them on uh, here uh, at our, in RMHS in the field house. So congratulations to the Unified Basketball Team for a great season. We look forward to celebrating you at the last home game. We have a bunch of uh, announcements this week, so I'll move through them rather quickly. First update is around some teaching awards. So last year, as the community knows, we had our uh, we implemented a new district-wide teaching award. This was the RPS Distinguished Teacher Award. Uh, this recognizes teachers who go above and beyond and do an amazing job uh, for our students. Uh, these were the uh, the teachers were selected through nominations from students, staff, and families. Last year's recipients were Jamie Benger at RMHS, Christine Crocker at Barrows. Ann Manna at JE, Tim McIntyre at RMHS, and Andy Spinelli at Parker. Uh, this year, we'll also have those same awards. Uh, so if there's someone in our community who you would like to nominate who uh, best embody what it means to be an RPS teacher, there's a form in the written newsletter to fill out. And again, these nominations can come from students, staff, families, or community members, and the nomination period closes by May 25th. Recipients will be recognized at the June 8th uh, uh, school committee meeting. So thank you in advance for taking a minute to recognize uh, and nominate some of our amazing teachers. Similarly, we also will have this year an award for non-teaching staff called the RPS Distinguished Staff Award. So similar process, there's a link in the written newsletter to nominate uh, someone in our schools who is a non-teacher position. So that can be paraprofessionals, custodial staff, uh, secretarial staff, uh, food service staff, uh, anyone else in our community who goes above and beyond for our students. So uh, in that written, in the written newsletter, there is a link also to fill out to nominate someone, one of our staff members who does an amazing job and best embodies what it means to be an RPS staff member. Uh, next update, uh, just a, is a quick reminder, there are office hours available uh, for either for myself, for Dr. Hardy or Dr. Styes. If any student, any staff or family would like to take a couple of minutes to share either ideas, questions, concerns, feedback, uh, in the written newsletter, there's a link to sign up and also on the district website, there's a place to sign up for office hours. In the written newsletter, you will find a video footage of Arts Fest 2023. We know that this was a beloved uh, uh, event in our community each year. Uh, Anna Cueva, some of her students, and uh, RCTV collaborated, put together some footage of the celebration. So check it out. It is really well done. Next update comes from CPAC. So CPAC has launched a new website. So in the written newsletter, you'll see a link to that website. Uh, also in the written newsletter, you will find a link to some of the upcoming events sponsored by CPAC, and that's where CPAC is also involved. So take a couple of minutes to get to see CPAC's website and learn what's going on over the next month of the school year. Shifting gears into a Juneteenth SOCA for EJI fundraiser. So the Students of Color and Allies uh, for Equity, Justice, and Inclusion here at RMHS are launching a shirt fundraiser, and they designed a uh, beautiful Juneteenth t-shirt with a list of sponsors on the back. Uh, so you'll see in the written newsletter a way that you can either volunteer at the Juneteenth event and or also get involved by purchasing a t-shirt. Um, Couple other reminders. One, tomorrow's is the police open house. So this is the sixth annual police uh, open house fun-filled event for the community, a lot going on. Check out the written newsletter for more information. Two summer program updates. The first is our summer adventure program sponsored by Community Education. Uh, kids will start their curiosities, explore weekly summer activities and programs, adventure programs, uh, themes using hands-on projects and themes related uh, activities. So. This should be a uh, fun time for students and also an educational time. So if you are interested, please check out the written newsletter for more information uh, that also has some contact information to register. Next summer update is around elite football clinics. Uh, this is hosted by Reading resident and Endicott College head football coach. Uh, there's a link in the written newsletter for more information, but should be a, a, a fun opportunity for kids to sharpen their football skills in advance of the fall season. Um, Last but not least, just from our town manager. So in the written newsletter, there is a video that was created by the Council on Aging regarding the, um, around the on the deficiencies of the Pleasant Street Center. 
So take a minute to familiarize that yourself with that and feel free to reach out to the town manager if you have any additional questions. As always, we hope that you have a wonderful weekend and go Rockets.